So now that we've talked about a liquid electrolyte and the flammability associated with that liquid electrolyte, let's talk about an alternative to that. Let's talk about a solid electrolyte and how that can be made into a much safer battery. There is the cathode, either LFP or NMC, and then the anode, which is graphite. We don't actually need a liquid and separator here at all, as the electrolyte itself, which is solid, allows transport of lithium ions back and forth between the anode and cathode, and also acts as the separator. There are a couple candidates for solid electrolytes. At Dragonfly Energy, we focused on a composite electrolyte that has both ceramic and polymers, and we've done this for two reasons. One, the ceramic itself can't burn, allowing for as safe a system as possible. And two, it optimizes the conductivity to achieve our desired charge and discharge rate for deep cycle storage applications, much smaller discharge rates than what you'll see in electric vehicles. In making traditional lithium ion electrodes, you would have a slurry made up of NMC or LFP particles, a binder, and a solvent to dissolve that binder that is painted onto this roll of aluminum foil. The foil is introduced into a drying oven where the solvent, or NMP, slowly evaporates, leaving the binder behind and LFP or NMC stuck to the foil. This drying oven is huge and the NMP solvent is toxic and has to be reclaimed, making the process very time consuming and expensive. That's what we have replaced. So what we do that's different is, instead of making a slurry, we have a dry powder coating process where we have an aerosolized dry powder that's composed of both the binder and the electrode material, which could be LFP or NMC. The powder is dry coated onto the foil and can actually be done simultaneously on both sides. Then, after a pressing step, what we have is an electrode that's ready for assembly into a cell without any drying needed. What we discovered through this process is that as we're coating the electrode, we can coat a composite electrolyte directly on top of the electrode. So now we have a layer of electrolyte on the electrode. And since we're powder coating, we're growing these layers one particle at a time. Now what we have is a very intimate interface, a high surface area interface between the electrode and the electrolyte. This interface is critical in the operation of the battery getting the lithium ion out of the electrode and into the electrolyte. This patented technology is what we do really well here, and it's what makes us different. And because it's chemistry agnostic, this can be used and licensed for a wide variety of chemistries and therefore applications. So while we are super excited about the solid state technology, we're not developing any new electrode materials, we're not developing any new electrolyte materials but we are inventing the processes that are required to make these cells on a mass scale. We're inventing scalable processes that will allow us to feasibly produce solid state storage batteries in the US.